guys, how are you? Okay, so for those of you who haven't already peeked on my uh, Facebook page, what was my NOS this morning, huh? What do you think happened? All right, I'll tell you. NOS this morning was 146.6. Yep, I didn't believe it either, so I took a picture. So wait, I'm going to put it up for you. Oh, and like Dale and, and Kit, they go like this. Let's see if it works. It's gonna, I'm gonna. See that, huh? Pretty cool. Yep, that would be 3.4 pounds. Bye bye. Okay, so I keep getting asked how long will my round be? The answer is I have no clue. I know that it will be a minimum of 30 days, um, but. I have no clue how I'm, how I'm gonna do. So depending on how things go, will depend on that answer. So I'm sorry, but I don't have an answer. Um, okay, Debbie RN1, if you haven't seen her latest vlog, you need to watch it. It's about being honest and um, just being honest with yourself and really with everyone else in the HCG community. Um, and so because she was talking about honesty, I thought, you know what? I want to share something that I am going to be doing that's off protocol. Um, technically, taking supplements is not on protocol. Um, last round, I started taking some and then freaked myself out, and so I stopped. Um, it didn't matter. It didn't matter either way. My releases were bad. So anyway, this round... Um, I made some decisions. I thought about the food we eat and I just feel that it just doesn't have the nutrients in it um, back like it did in 1950s. So, um, so I'm taking supplements. So that's my off protocol so far. Uh, the other thing that I did, which um, if you watch HHCG Crazy, Lori, and her sister Mary Beth, and you watch Runkman 44, they all three of them have something in common. Um, actually, they have a few things in common. Number one, they take pellets. Number two, they are getting rid of weight like unbelievable. <laughs> so I said to myself, why don't I go look at bucknutritionals.com, see what the heck it is they're taking. So obviously with all the HCG I have, I'm not going to be switching from RX to homeopathic, but what else is in their stuff? So I looked it up, and they have three amino acids in their product that I don't take. So that will be what I'm taking. Now, I am not telling you to take them. I'm not suggesting you take them. I'm just laying it out there, like Debbie said, to be honest, what you're doing, what you're doing off protocol, this is what I'm doing off protocol. So, I bought this one. I'm taking one in the morning. And then I bought this one. Okay. So there you have it. Complete honesty. Um, okay. Last night, I took a detox bath. I know that detox baths are pretty controversial, believe it or not. Um, people argue over, should you put a pound in or cups? I don't know. You guys do what you want to do. But I did, um, last night, I did two cups of Epsom salt and two cups of baking soda. And I had a 3.4 release this morning, so I'm happy with that. So it worked for me. Um, I also brought in my water and I had the water on hot but this time I only stayed for 20 minutes because I read that you shouldn't stay in longer. I didn't know that. The other part of detox baths that people um, have some issues of should you shower after or not. So last night I decided not to and just let it sink in. So that's what I did. I have no clue if it's right or wrong. It's what I did. And then yesterday I drank a detox tea, so I thought I would show you that. 
it tasted very nice. Um, okay, two more things. I'll let you go. Um, actually, three more things. I just want to thank everyone for watching, for supporting, encouraging, and um, just for all the new subscribers um, that don't know me, thank you for, for joining me on my journey. Uh, my last one wasn't very fun, so hopefully this one will be better. Um, okay, so back to the three things. Now I'm down to two things. Um, Runkman44 and Slim Steve and a couple other people I know were complaining about dry skin. And I know that everybody, I think Miss Terry Bear just showed it, and there's a couple other people that are showing the same product. But maybe you're watching my vlog and you're not watching theirs. So I just want to show you... Um, that this product is not just for your face. You spray it on and you just get it at your local health food store and it's a whopping eight bucks, it's no big deal. And what's funny is it says um, after your bath or shower, just spray it on your hands and apply it to your face and all other skin areas. But what I thought was funny too is it says that you can spray it on a live plant to enrich their moisture content. So, I mean, how bad can it be? Okay, last thing, Grassini sticks. I know a lot of people want to have Grassini sticks, can't have them because they can't find them. Oh my gosh, I gotta go get them. Hold on. Okay, Grassini sticks. Okay guys, we're talking 12 calories. We're talking delicious. We're talking you can order these online. No, I don't get any promotional money. I don't represent them. They don't know who I am. I don't know who they are. I do know who they are. Anyway, I get them at the World Market local here in Temecula. But most people don't have a World Market. But you have an internet. So if you go to pasta, P-A-S-T-A dot com, and I just want to say, warning, that these are delicious, and if you order them and you eat more than one for your serving and your scale goes up, don't blame me. So I'm, I'm just putting it out there. All right, this is what it looks like. Okay, we're talking thin. It's really delicious. Okay, here's a pen. All right, so it's not even two pens worth, and it's thinner than a pen. They taste like Italian bread. They taste so good. They are not enriched flour. It is wheat flour, extra virgin olive oil, malt, brewer's yeast, and salt. Um, the serving size on the box says for five. But you're eating one. So when you break it down, all you're really getting is a delicious crunch in your diet. Okay, pasta.com. Um, okay, so far I have not added any um, coconut oil, any chocolate delight, and I don't plan on adding any of that until next week. I just want to see how one week eating totally pop uh, with the exception of my supplements, um, but eating pop, um, how does that do on my scale before I start adding in anything extra? Um, I know everybody's anxious, including myself, wanting to get this weight off really quickly, but I really just want to, I want to try to do this round right. Okay, so did I already say that people were asking me how long my round is and I don't know the answer. If I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry. I've actually already, uh, <laughs> I've already videotaped this like twice already. So I don't know what I have said, what I haven't said. Okay. That's it. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Please write some nice stuff down below. If you have mean stuff, don't write it. I don't. You know, women, pregnancy hormones, make me cry. No, I'm kidding. All right. 
You guys, great stabilization out there. All you guys going up P3. I miss you already, oh Angie baby, doing HCG. You better vlog. All right, love you all. Happy releases to the rest of you, the guys that are on P2. And those of you that are just curious about HCG, I would go watch vlogs of people that have been really successful, like Miss HCG Girl. I mean, my gosh, go look at her. Look at those pictures before, during. She, she looks great. She looks phenomenal. And she's starting on the 30th. Psyched. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.